good morning Siegel. Uh, okay, so October's Canned Food Drive Month and we have finally worked out the incentive package on top of the first period competition. We're also going to try to raise um, and meet a couple goals for the school. So if you would love to have a food day, that's where we bring in Chick-fil-A, Toots, um, Far East and let you eat um, of course you have to buy it, but it lets you eat items from outside the cafeteria that day. Uh, you have to raise 25,000 total items. Now that equals about 14 items per student or $3.50 per student. So uh, that's one goal. Okay, if you want another pep rally, up, down. If you want another pep rally for either the end of football season or basketball season, we're kind of waiting to see how things play out. You have to bring in 30,000 items, which is 17 items per student or $4.25 per student. If you want to see Mr. Parker with a painted head, we can't really dye his hair because he's kind of missing it. <laughs> um, Mr. Andres, who I don't know if you know, he loves his hair. And Mr. Creasy with dyed hair, then we have to raise 35,000 items, which is 20 items or $5 per student. So there's your incentive package. You have until the end of October. So start bringing in your items and uh, let's have a great canned food drive. Awesome, all right guys, good morning. I have four announcements, so please bear with me. Ms. Skelton, uh, students, you will be testing this morning. So please wait for an announcement. I'll probably get on the announcements about 9.40 and dismiss you to your testing location. Again, that's Ms. Skelton students. Secondly, second, if you have a second period class teachers, please, please make sure you check my email. I'm so glad it's Friday. Please check my email where in the subject line it says second period teachers. We have some pre-coding makeups for plan today. So second period teachers, if you would, please check that list. When I make the announcement at 940 for Ms. Skelton students to go to testing, I will also make the announcement to dismiss those for plan pre-coding at the same time. Please prompt those students to uh, report to the cafeteria. Uh, teachers, if you have a sixth period class, please make sure you check my email with the subject line sixth period. Uh, we have some students who are making up the uh, missed testing from Tuesday and there is a list of those students. I will not be making an announcement this afternoon. So as soon as those sixth period kids come in, immediately send them to the library. And last but not least, teachers, if you are one of my test administrators for the plan test next Tuesday, a reminder that we will have a training this Monday morning, 7.30 in the library. Thank you. The varsity volleyball team won their sub-state match last night against Walker Valley and have qualified for their third consecutive and ninth overall state tournament that starts next Wednesday. We thank those fans who came out to support last night and ask that we continue to get the same fan support and more as we fight for a state championship. Details on how you can attend our state tournament games will be in Monday's announcements. The Seagull store will take orders until October 23rd for Seagull Nation and Straight Out of Seagull shirts. They will be available for $10 for short sleeve and $12 for long. For long. Don't delay pre-order your spirit wear today. If you haven't already, sign up for the Tennessee Promise even if you don't plan on attending a community college or tech school. Consider it insurance because it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it because life happens. It's free to apply and only takes a few minutes. Please see Coach Palmer in room 723 if you need any help. Students interested in night school classes that begin in October should see their counselor for more information. New classes begin Monday, October 19th. And that's all for your announcement, Siegel. Have a shop top go Friday. <laughs>